Yeah, Gabe, uh, over here on the right side, left side, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, you guys obviously won a couple of the biggest games in the, in the season last year with a couple of last-second plays. Um, just how much does that inspire you to try to do that this year? And, and do you think you guys can keep winning, you know, with those close plays at the end of the game? Yes. Uh, well, I, I really believe, you know, it's never a goal to win by seconds or, you know, win on the last play. Uh, ultimately, I believe the best goal would be, I guess, a blowout. But we'll take them as they come. Um, honestly, I said this before, you know, um, whether winning or losing, you know, you're always going to take something from it. So, in in the biggest game at that moment, you know, we did we did um, we did lose on the you know on the last game, but it, it is something to take from that. You know, there still is a fire burning. I truly believe that. Our teammates believe that. Our coaches believe that, and we're going to use that as motivation as we push through this next season. Gabe, uh, right here. Uh, talk about. I mean, all the all the thoughts that there are about you guys playing with that fast paced offense and how that affects you and how that can limit the defense? Uh, I really believe this conference as well as the rest of the conference and the, Nash, and the um, NCAA is really changing. I, th I believe the pace is picking up, the tempo is moving faster, and our offense can only help us um, being able to practice against them each and every practice and each and every day. Uh, really helps us going in spring and fall camp. And um, like I said, the way that the game's changing, we can't do anything but pick up positives from it. Gabe, over here left side. just. Take us through you guys leaving Pastino last year, going through this offseason, everything coming off the year you just had, as opposed to the year before where it's a new regime, everything coming in, and now it's kind of a blank canvas and trying to build on that. Uh, one of the m bigger blessings we've had is to have a coaching staff come back to us, um, you know, and I mean the whole staff. You know, for instance, this would be my third defensive coordinator. You know, I have him coming back. My, my second defensive line coach, and I can go across the board, um, you know, with all our coaches. So um, that's really been a blessing for us. Um, you know, you're coming off one of the biggest seasons we've had at Auburn, you know, since I've been there and um, and down, and then you got to come back and, you know, kind of have that repeated success. You know, the pressure's on, but I, I can tell you this, me and my teammates, we definitely don't push away that pressure. We definitely grasp it, and we will use it, like I said, as fire. And um, so workouts have been going great, the coaching staff are, um, constantly, you know, talking with us, thinking about new and better, you know, new and better ways, how we could have did thing, how we could have did things. So, um, I just feel, um, you know, the team has really come together, um, took that loss, and um, was able to, you know, to move on from it. What was the biggest difference in your season last year? The key to the big turnaround of the program last year? I would say honestly, um, a player's confidence in their coach. Um, I, would, I would say there was a lack thereof in that 3-9 and nine season, in which confidence is something that we didn't lack in the last season. We, we had a lot of it. Um, players believe in the coaches and vice versa. Coaches believe in the players. Gabe, Nick Brown, ESPN 97.7, Rustin Monroe. A lot was made, an uh, issue was made about all the offense and how it leads to injuries, but yet you practice against that uh, every day. What is it like going against it uh, during practice, and do you see injuries uh, occur more frequently? Um, I'm not biased because my offense runs it. I can honestly say um, I don't think anything ties into a more high-tempo offense and whether injuries are going to occur more frequently. I, I, I truly don't. This is a physical game, and we're playing one of the physical conference in, in the whole NCAA, I, I feel. Injuries are going to occur. That's something that humans don't decide, and football doesn't decide when and when they happen. Um, the speed of the game, I truly believe, should be left out of that discussion. 